Hello, hello YouTube! This is Sukaboo's Art from Sukaboo's Artsy Things back after a very long and unintended hiatus. The reason why I was gone is I've got lots of chronic health problems and we also got two golden retriever puppies and they have been keeping us very busy the last several months. They are currently outside, so if you hear any noise in the background, it's just them outside or our cat yeah. here as well. Or I've also got family that's moving about the house. So, anywho, I hope everyone's doing okay with everything that's going on with the virus that shall not be named and going around and all of that. and. I've been trying to keep my spirits up and recently ordered some art supplies because the convention, convention that I usually go to about summertime, we decided I'm not going this year, so the money that would have gone to the convention went towards some pretty cool art supplies instead. So. Yeah, haven't gotten a whole bunch of art supplies in a while, and I figured this would be the perfect time to do an unboxing video, so got a couple of boxes here to start out with. Make sure, I mean these boxes are really quite big, so I'm trying to make sure it's in view here. Not sure what in what box can be are both the same big size with art supplies I got from zipbook.com. Uh -oh. oh, this is the acrylic stuff. I'll get this box out of the way for yet another box. Box deception. This is some acrylics that I had ordered. I recently and getting into some acrylic painting and it's been really fun delving into this and I got this is my gold my antique gold for, uh, from Sennelier this is 60 milliliters I love the packaging I also use M gram by the way this is Naples yellow warm and then they were having a deal where you buy three, you get a freebie tube, and there was one that's back ordered, so I am just getting these two tubes plus the three white that it came with. And these are all 60 milliliter tubes, so there's that. So my acrylic painting, and then this is the fun stuff. Try and get the box more into view here. Working with a new iPad that I got over the holidays, so this is the first actual video that I'm filming with it. And so getting the positioning and everything has been a bit of a challenge. We'll work to get the invoice out. Maybe see any details with that. And here we go. Alright, this is a big one inch mop brush. For my acrylic painting, Princeton Select. I don't know if you can see it. These are my watercolor brushes and another Princeton for acrylic painting. The Fuzz Squirrel brushes. I 
initially got some from a local art supply shop and really liked them, so this time around ordering online, I just ordered a bunch of the sizes that I usually use. So there's this. And then this is the wash. I have Arteza gouache, and I've been slowly upgrading to artist grade, so I have some tubes in Imgram and Holbein gouache now, and I wanted to replace the pink that I had with this, Holbein's Opera. I didn't like the Arteza pink. It wasn't that same quality of bright, punch-you-in-the-face pink, so... I wanted it con to be consistent through my watercolors, and now it's like wash. And then I've got some Van Gogh watercolors. A couple of tubes here, making sure this is in frame. This is Rose. Focus. There we go. Ten milliliters. And then this is a couple of more colors that I had. Three more. Van Dyke Brown. Naples Yellow Red. This is a color that I've had before on my main palettes. And I just really love this color. I think it's a very good color to use for pale skin tones and such. And then a fun color, Dusk Violet, one of their new colors. I'll just get these two things out of the way here so I can move the box. This I got because I've never seen it before. This is the Van Gogh dot card with all of the watercolor paints, the samples of each color, 72 colors in their range. I've never seen one for Van Gogh before. Dick like sells them. Got some details. If you want to pause this here, you can. So this is going to be a video in itself. Because swatching 72 colors, yeah, that's going to take a bit. And this is a piece de resistance. I've never bought myself a 48 color set before. And... Van Gogh finally came out with a 48 color set that I felt wouldn't entirely render me insanely broke and that I wouldn't be too terrified to want to use it because if it was something fancy like a Schmincke set or one of the Daniel Smith sets that have recently come out I would have been too scared to want to use it when I finally did get it. So let's just get to unboxing it. This is the first time I've seen this in person and I'm very excited. Comes in a nice, I want to say royal blue case, metal case. I have a black one for Imgram and Daniel Smith and Holbein and all those other professional watercolor brands and I've never been able to have one of these for just a single brand. I've got the logo right here which I can appreciate. Hold on, let me move this camera down a bit. There we go. Let's 
open this puppy up. Oh, logo right here. Very nice tin. And boom. It goes flat, flush here just for people to see. It doesn't it doesn't sink down. See? So that's nice. It comes with a brush. A size 6 Zangu brush. So there's another brush in my haul. And these are all the colors. 48 colors. So there's a couple in here that I'm not sure about that I might replace with my colors that extra colors that I got once I swatch these out I am going to pause the video and then open this open these up unwrap these and get a swatch card going I'm going to record all of this it's just I need to pause it and then restart it so I can speed through this not bore you guys and then I will show you the lovely colors alrighty Alright, we are back and the pans are unwrapped. That took quite a while. I've never done this before and I can safely say this is something you don't want to do if you don't have nails like me. Um, I've already got a swatch chart set up for swatching out these colors for the half pans and the tubes here. The four extra colors and it's not a perfect chart I mixed up a couple of the colors as I was writing them down but that's why I also put the numbers so I can double check with the pan so let me just get this stuff moved out of the way here my jar I got I'm gonna be swatching with the brush they provided the Van Gogh number six <laughs> I'm not gonna swatch the white because that seems kind of redundant white on white yeah that won't show very well so first we'll start with the yellow I'm not having to pre-wet these colors this is just coming up really juicy as is oops for a minute lemon yellow transparent yellow medium This is being swatched on Brushes Cold Press. Cambodge. This is one of the colors I had had from before when I got some tubes on clearance from a local art supply store. Indian Yellow. That's a nice honey color. I'm just going to speed through the rest of these and show you the end results now. Oh, 
Okay, the swatching is done and the colors have dried and we are back and I've got to say I am very happy with these colors. I've used Van Gogh paints before so I knew what to expect with consistency and how they lay down and all of that and I'm just really loving this like lavender and this interference blue. Yeah, I got some paint on my hands when I was swatching and putting pans in and all of that. Um, these are the extra colors that I got to kind of round out my earth tones and have a color that's close to a skin tone, etc. And these are the silvery colors. I'm trying to get a good shot of these so you can see. I really love the interference blue. It's probably one of my favorites. Dusty violet looks like a really good color for shadows and moody scenes and Damien Gray, I've never been a fan of in any brand, and yellow ochre is yellow ochre, and the snozberries taste like snozberries. I am really happy with these paints and how they go down. These paints are great for layering and building up to intensity instead of being so vibrant and bright right out the gate. Which, yeah, is great for some things, but not for others, and I've always wanted to have a larger range of Van Gogh paints to use. So, here is my palette now that it is unwrapped and I've got the extra pans in this is the rose that's the Naples yellow red Van Dyke brown and dusk violet I put with the other dusky colors in when the pans are all unwrapped you can add in four extra colors to the set of 48 which I was really happy to discover and the number six Van Gogh brush that came with the set is a really nice addition to be able to just get right into the painting and swatching and all of that. Just put the cap back on and you can put this back in here for easy grab and not have to worry about ruining the brush tip or anything. So this is my art haul for May 2020, my wash watercolors, a few acrylics, and dot card. This again will probably be a video in itself at a later date. I don't know when I will be getting to that. This video is already going to be super long. And these are my new brushes as well. I really hope everyone is doing all right during these troubling times with everything going on and hope you can have a good a good evening after the moon morning whatever time of day it is when you're watching this and I will see y'all next time happy arting bye